What's up guys, how you doing? I'm Jay Kaminachi. Today, we have a quick setting of Alcatel 1S. And before we go any further, I want you to give you a small introduction on the company that make this processor. It's called Unisic uh, Telecommunications. So this company makes processor back in the day for the S2, Galaxy S2 and uh, Intel phones. So Intel like when they do in Windows, of course. So these, uh, this company actually, or this company makes these architecture uh, processors, which is, as you can see here, eight cores uh, processor, like four, four of them is high performance. And the other four is lower in the lower place of or lowest uh, performance, uh, battery saving and such thing. Uh, but what's good about it is that it supports 16 megabytes. Uh, camera so this phone has 16 megabytes as a main camera which is really good now the giving price guys are you ready are you ready for the price are you sure are you ready so this is the cheapest flagship phone <laughs> i don't want to say flagship but the cheapest high performance phone you can get an eight core phone 32 gigabytes three gigabyte frame now are you ready for the price this is around 80 dollars guys Yep, you heard that, around $80. So less than $75, $80, around that place. So this will be the champion. This, this might be the new champion of budget phones with the high performance. This, guys, might be the one. Now, not only that, let me show you what else we have here. Uh, bam. We have, let me just open the phone, guys. This is is an IPS LCD screen. So this is a high quality uh, screen, guys. It's not any like any knockoff screen that you should get from a lower budget phone. This is a high, a nice quality screen, by the way. They're not playing around. I mean, TCL, the company that makes TVs, as you can see here, uh, they're making great TVs, so they're not actually playing around with making their phones as well. So let me just uh, click next. Uh, don't ask again. Whatever, 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 whatever. There you go. So just lower the resolution a little bit. Now straight away you see the, uh, as you can see, this notification uh, slider, as you can see here, it's almost as stock Android. So they're not playing around with the, uh, with the budget. And this is a good thing. This is the Android 9 version. So you're getting good stuff in here now when you scroll to the right you can get your news feed as well which is really great plus mm -hmm. that you have um, what else we have so you only noticing here the icon is kind of different like their uh, cartoony thing so it's not like stock pure stock but the icon is really different um, sometimes the styling is different so it's really great so let's take a quick look at the setting that we have here first off network and internet so nothing special here wi-fi data usage sim card vpn so we don't have to see anything special here connected devices this is the bluetooth uh, nothing special here as well apps and notification we have recently opened apps to show you what's been opened recently and then i have see all 3d apps so i have notification um, so if you can go to the notification and you can allow notification dot if you want to see you know, have a notification dot or not just probably you want to have it or maybe save battery to disable it uh, what else we have we have default app so you can just have for example these are the apps that you want to have uh, maybe running so let me just for example go back here this is the application that's going to show on your notifications like default apps so app permissions this is where you of course you disable or enable the permission for each application um, let me just go back and special app access now four apps can use unrestricted restricted data so these like special app access so for example battery optimization so what happens here so this like for example you optimize the application based on what app you have so these applications are not optimized so let me just show you. It just tells you that these applications are not optimized for battery saving. So no matter what you do, uh, 
so this is anyways this like dashboard for you for your application you can just customize everything here now, for example here you can unrestricted data you can just up, uh, apply something by the way it's installed with a uh, asphalt nitro already so this is really good news we can test the uh, you know the uh, the GPU which is a very special GPU later on so let's go back smart controls so what smart control is let's take a look live left to check phone so yep so if you're like for example turn it off you you take it up and then so yeah so it's just to show you notifications which is really great uh, smart motion let's see here it says easy deal pick up a device to call contact on screen easy answer pick up device to and close uh, to your ear to answer incoming call this is just if someone call you don't need to press anything you just pull it up and that's it um, excuse me uh, hands free switch so pick up device on your ear when you are talking hands uh, talking hands free uh, easy bell pick up the device when it's ringing ring will weaken mm -hmm. uh, and the device will be vibrate so this is another uh, really great uh, so we have set of things that you can customize for example the pocket mode it's just turn off in your pocket just make it touch disabled so if it's your pocket you don't need to worry that things are gonna go wrong for example prevent misuse when device smart bell ring tune automatically uh, maximum the vibration power saving turn off Wi-Fi search automatically to save power so you have the whole co uh, control about what what option you would like to have in your phone this is a really great thing guys for uh, you know again with the phone with that price is really excellent battery battery life of course battery saving and all I see is just pure Android guys I don't see any bloatware here um, power saving off uh, as for charge, screen usage, eight minutes. We don't need battery saving. We want to see how much battery we have. Uh, screen usage, battery percentage. So you can allow battery percentages be shown here. As you can see, typical Android. Let's go to the setting, battery usage, and there you go. It goes down like this. Anyways, we're gonna do uh, maybe battery test later on. Uh, display. This, this this display is really nice by the way i don't know why it's an lcd but we don't have this crazy uh, you know the lcd cut out here it's not no it's, it looks nice it looks neat actually it's not a, it's not a crappy one it's a very nice one uh, so eye comfort you can have the eye comfort here as you can see turn it on and you can increase the intensity so it's really nice it's not that aggressive like other phones like for example the Nokia is very very ag aggressive guys but this one I see it's very light it's not that aggressive so keep that in mind uh, let's go back here display schedule power on and off so you can schedule it to be turned on or turned off based on time you need and the phone will automatically shut down and open based on what you want to do so this is a great way also to get customize your timing navigation bar so you can choose this way the classic Android way and let me just see maybe we can have different one um, uh, no we don't have guys we have only these options let me just double check yep we only have these you can have this one so you can instead of reaching up and sliding down you can one click slide it down or let me just try one thing also if we slide down for the middle you can have it as well so this is a great uh, another option for you so you have multiple options for uh, you know checking the notifications which is really great back let's go back all right so st uh, audio profiles I don't think we have any uh, special audio with Dolby Atmos or anything nope just volume nothing else you guys so this is the audio for you just a simple thing maybe they the already tuned it in a good way um, let's see storage let's go to storage this is the 32 gigabytes so you have 6 gigabyte 
used uh, on the phone say from out of the box you will get around 25 gigabytes but you also have expandable storage which is really great for you to use and the security and location find my device google play protect you have march security update and we don't know what is uh, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. That's a long time ago. Probably there is another one. Um, we're going to check it out later, guys. So let's just go through the setting first. Um, fingerprint, face unlock. No, there's also great fingerprint here. You can do it. You can use it as a slider. Let me just double check. Nope. So yeah, the you can... You cannot just customize it. You have this this way. This notion is better. Just sliding down. It's way better than just setting up a fingerprint. Let's go back. Uh, accessibility. Uh, select to speak. Select to talk. Display size. Um, yeah, that's all that like the typical Android thing. Nothing special here. This, so trying to look for a, a bloatware or maybe special things. Nothing we have here. Mono audio combining when playing audio. No, we didn't. We wanted this to be a stereo sound. Uh, system about the phone. Let's take a look at the phone, guys. Uh, local software, device, phone number. Um, where is it? So, um, forget all the information. I'm trying to look to the uh, the to the process serial number we need that anyways uh backup reset options multiple users safety system update app updates so we have two different things this is where you find the different applications but we don't we're not connected to the internet yet because we don't have any other access here so this is where you check for updates yeah, so this is a setting for you guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Before we go, let's take a look at this um, stuff here. So we have tools, file manager, FM radio, support center, weather. Um, that's it about it here. Uh, here we have the Android applications. I don't know where it's asphalt, but maybe there is some draw. Uh, let me just double check. How can we allow this? Let me just go back to the setting. And maybe we can go to the um, accessibility. No, it's not here. But it shows that it's available. So maybe there is some way to get it uh, show. Maybe we can show the draw uh, icon here drawer icon let's go to the file manager and let's try to look for where it is so we have internal storage and we can go to the dmc android alarms music pictures let's go to android data and then let's go to app manager files Downloads. There's nothing. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna find it later on. I'm gonna do uh, a gaming test just to see how good the phone is. I'm gonna do a speaker test comparing to the Nokia 5.1 Plus speakers, which is it's as well as down firing speaker as you can see here. And we're gonna see who's uh, could you know be the champion of this uh, really really budget device. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys later.